All right, so basically what I'm showing you today is a high profit margin that you can do in your vehicle. What I do is I sell these earrings. This is getting a little destroyed. These are so easy to make. I sell them for $5 each. The video I show you where to get the parts, where to get the display. Wait a minute. Basically, I made all these earrings, and they're uh, curing right now. I made all these earrings for under $30, took me less than two hours, and I had a ton of fun. And basically, the storage requirements are I need a, two of these little containers that'll fit in my vehicle. Why? Because I collect little things like this, which I show you in the vehicle. And the other thing is, is what to fill in. And the recap is I made over 80 earrings and if I sold all 80 of them at five dollars a piece that's a four hundred dollar profit potential um and it literally cost me like 25 to 30 dollars to uh, buy all the little beads and the findings and everything so there you have you have a little lightweight portable business that you can run out of your van I hope you enjoy the video and it seems like I'm going very slow through the process but I want to make sure I'm thorough and it's so simple. I'll say this over and over again, just a tiny amount of E6000. You don't want to use too much of it. All right, enjoy the video. And oh, please drop something in the comments below. I really would love to hear from you. Thank you. This was a hard work one. All right, this is so simple. All right, these are my blanks. These are my cabs, cabochons. And basically here's what you do, and we'll go over all the different types, is you get a cabochon, and then you get just a, the smallest dot of E6000. There you go, there's an earring. Let's do that again. You get the cabochon, just a dot of E6000. Now I think the hardest thing for people, I can uh, fix that if I have two hands, the hardest part for people is let this cure for at least 48 hours. Now then, these studs are my favorites and they come in all sorts of sizes. This is 12 millimeter. And if you're ordering off of Timu, get used to it. 12 millimeter blank, 12 millimeter cabochon. I will show you how to do these today. First thing we, what we want to do is we want to get to our Timu app. What does our Timu app look like? There it is right there. I'm going to open it up. And what do I search for? I am searching for 12 millimeter cabochon earring blanks. Everybody see that? There we go. And what pops up are all these blanks. See, 20 pieces, 12 millimeter, 10 sets of earrings for $1.19 or about 12 cents a piece. So all you have to do is do that it says six colors one size now 12 millimeter is the biggest that i like using for studs what we're going to do is let's say we want some oh gun black that's one of my favorites and here is the size chart but we'll get it 12 millimeter i like working in sizes from six to uh 12 millimeter so we'll add it to the cart whoops there you go add to the cart just one please there you go, one added, all right. So let's back up. So that was the cabazon, cabazon blanks. And let's just say cabs, we're gonna X that out. I see them already popping up because I order it a bunch. Let's 12 millimeter cabazon, let's search. There we go, pretty. And that's all you have to do. All right, the next thing I enjoy making is stud earrings. So I just put in jewelry making supplies stud. And there we go. Oh, look at those handsome black ones. Those are nice. And they have them in silver, gold, any color you can imagine. Don't get the ones with the hole in it. Just get these. Oh my gosh, they also have it in an antique bronze. Isn't that wonderful? We'll make these thumbtack earrings so, in a future video. Here's all you need. You need these or these or both. And I have them in a variety of sizes. See that? They come in many different sizes. Like I said, I work from 6 to 12 millimeters. A toothpick, 
a drop, like I said, be sparingly. I will put some of this out and put a drop onto the back of this, just a drop. And then you need some cabochons and that's it. You're ready to go. Also, if you love these sheets of stickers that they sell at Joann's and Michael's and Hobby Lobby, and they also have some stickers over at the Dollar Tree, you can also use these to fill in. What a nice, inexpensive way to do it. Now there's a huge variety of fill-ins. Something this heavy I can turn into a necklace. This one definitely a necklace, even though they're sold as earrings, but it's pretty heavy for an earring. That one's gorgeous. This one is for books. That's a hair clip. These are clip-on earrings. Different way to make them. I'll show you, maybe. <laughs> Bookmark, and that's a keychain. And let me show you the hair clip one. Hair clip, there you go, that's a hair clip. Done, isn't that so cute? That's a wonderful hair clip. How many patriotic people would love that? I would. So here's what I ordered from AliExpress, and these are multiple orders put in the same bag, but this is a black fill-in. I love black, it makes anything look really good. These have a crown tip, and you'll see them more. Oh, they always come with these little things. So uh, be careful when you order. When it says 20 pieces, it may be 10 of these and 10 of these, so shop for the best price, okay? More of that, because I love that one. Uh, not a lot of people buying gold or copper from me. And then I bought some plain uh, bronze ones. So that's what I bought from Allie. Just got this order in from Timu. They had different types of fill-ins. I like that. That one's really plain and thick. But let me show you these. These are cat size. And these were quite inexpensive. They're going to look beautiful. Of course, the protectant eye. Uh, all sorts of different ones. Can't really see that one good. And then we have whales, because uh, dolphins, because we're in San Diego. So that's my Timu bag. And they're both about the same prices. Just make sure you get free shipping on both of them. Follow the instructions well. So the next step is basically pushing these into here, giving yourself enough space and making sure that they're level. All right, so basically, see, that's the fill-in. Then I'm going to put it over here and make sure it's level. And before I even fill it, I will make sure it's level. Repeat, and I'm going to repeat this whole line one size. All right, always check the quality of your stud. Make sure it's nice and straight before you put it in. And I'm lining these up. That would be one pair of earrings. Skip a space, make another pair. All right, if they're a little bent, it's best to manhandle them before you even begin. So straighten them out, but use gentle pressure. All right, everything's all set up. And this took me about five minutes. Next, I'm gonna put what I wanna put into it next to each one. I'm gonna think it out. Yeah. All right, so there's the pink beads. So I put them in the silver one, and I put them in the black one. Totally different look. So I'm thinking and I'm deciding. All right, so if you can't figure out whether this matches that one, what I do is turn it over on their back, and that's a lot easier than looking at something shiny. But it's going good, having fun. I also want to say, like these, that I get cheap over at, like, what a bargain and everything for, like, a dollar a sheet. See how nice that looks in there? That's a cheap sticker. I guess I get a hundred of them up on a sheet. Cheap stickers, cheap stickers. So, and that's a cheap sticker, but it looks great, doesn't it? All right, so these are not glued in yet. I'm just making sure I match the base color properly, the size properly and everything. Do I like the color combo? And I didn't fill up the uh, copper ones. I did the gold ones. I don't have enough things that I thought would go well with the copper. So, and this was bigger than 12 millimeter. That's why there's none there. But look how good those cat's eye look. Like I said, $5. And I got a big bag of those cat's eyes for, well, I'll tell you in a little bit. But I thought the clocks, because they were ancient, would look good on the bronze ones. So that's why I did that there. And that's how we are so far. Next, I get my glue out and start gluing. Yay. All right, so basically everybody's right, ready. They're in front of theirs. At this one, I couldn't get out, so I'll just put a dot of glue right there, and it'll be fine. 
but see how everything's paired so I get the correct earrings into the correct setting. But yeah, all ready to go. All right, so we are outside. Uh, we're getting a nice little breeze, good. Now I'm not sure about this. I'm just gonna squeeze some E6000 onto a little piece of plastic. And uh, I've never done this before in front of a camera. Not even sure if my E6000 will work. Hold on. This is very old E6000. Here it comes. It's coming out here now. So I'm just squeezing a bunch out. There you go. There's a bunch. Put the lid on so it doesn't drip all over my stuff. And let's see. What can I see here? All right. So I'm going to pick up a dot. Just a dot. And put it down here. Just see that is like the faintest dot on the planet. Just, I, uh, am I letting it dry? I don't know. That's it. That's all you want. That's all you really need. Because if you don't do it that way, then it could form a chemical. Ta-da! Five second earring. Let's do it again. And trust me, this is hard. Just uh, too much, too much. Perfect, perfect. We want the air circulating around this. All right, now I'm gonna time myself and see how long it takes me. All right, so it took me five minutes to glue 10 of them and I'll show you my technique. Just grab a little bit of the glue, see? Turn that over on the back and then roll that around and then snap it in. Snapped, all done. So it doesn't take that long at all, does it? Got all those done, maybe uh, 12 seconds, a little bit of glue, roll it around, snap it in. There we go. Little bit of glue, just a little bit, not too much. Like I said, too much and they start getting foggy. You just want enough to uh, glue it down for good. There we go. Any problems? I didn't think so. All right, so I'm making great progress. I'll be done soon. Gotta squeeze out some more glue. Yay. This is so easy to do, so easy. And like I said, this one that I can't get out, we're just going to get a little bit of glue there. Very little. Doesn't take much. And then just glue it right about there. And that's not going to go anywhere. Allegedly. Allegedly. All right, so do it again. A little bit of glue. We got our little flag. And I love posts because it doesn't matter which side's up. There you go. Get in there. Get in there. Perfect. Sometimes I can do the swirly thing. Sometimes I can't. Little bit of glue, there you go. This is coming along real fast, it really is. So I'm happy, I love these eyes. These are great, these protector eyes. You know, I could have a whole business just to doing stud earrings if I so desired. There you go, there's your glue, get in there. Are you in there? I'm so glad I got my new glasses. It makes it so much easier. All right, I'll cut back when I'm done. All right, so less than 30 minutes, I glued all these. I talked to my sister on the phone. You see how easy it is just to glue them. Leave it on here for at least 48 hours. Don't put anything on top of it. Let all that E6000 glue evaporate. If you don't let that, then these uh, pretty little ones, they're going to fog up, and you want to avoid the fog. So you saw how I did it. Just a little dot, and that'll stick it down. This is the one-sided jewelry display item that I use. So all you have to do is type in one piece hanging jewelry storage display on Timu and this should pop up. So let's see how much I spent. 25 pairs of fill-ins for $2.98. All right, if we go into our calculator, $2.98 and you get 25 pairs. So we're going to divide 25 pairs. That equals 11 nine so we'll round it up to 12 cents a pair all right let's get into our timu app there it is and you can see 20 pieces of round bezel stainless steel stud earrings for 98 cents so that is 10 pairs or about 10 cents a piece so next we're going to add that to our stuff so you can see that I spent 22 cents per pair of earrings and I've been selling them for $5 a piece. 
All right, notice when I go to Timu, I pulled up something else. This says 76 pieces. So you think you're getting a lot of really good uh, bezels? Well, you're not. You're also getting the little earring compartments and the little earring things that you snap in, and that's not as good. So look for pairs of earrings, not pieces. You want to find the pairs of earrings. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this video. There's my address if you want to write me something, and I'll see you down the road. Bye!